All right, we're back. Sorry for not being in yesterday. Unforeseen circumstances related to the hurricane, or at least giant rainstorm that hit um, the uh, the East Coast here. We will have some of the boys in here tonight. Um, if you're watching the replay, probably best to skip ahead uh, like five minutes or so, just because we take a second to share it out on our socials. But we already have seven viewers here, so I'm excited. Uh, hopefully crank out like two hours tonight. I think that'll be good um, because we did miss yesterday. But um, you guys let us know like what questions you guys have and oh yeah, we're good, we're good to go. We're good to go. All right, yeah, we're good. Uh, Cliff, sorry I wasn't the first one on my mates. I'm glad the spaghetti was good. I'm glad it was good, man. A lot of inventory, units available to ship. 702 resales, good to see you in here. Need to figure out where the computer charger went. We'll wait till Garrett gets in here for that. There he is, baby. We're back after a two day hiatus. Very sorry for that. Um, just Garrett and I both live in one of the areas heavily affected by recent weather events, but we're back. Down, Down there. there. Yep, we are good to go, though. Should be a good time. We're getting Danny on here for the first time in maybe a week, week or two um, as well tonight, so it should be a bit of bit good. I think the echo is... Uh, oh, wait, no, the echo is good. We're chilling. Got my dog Rodriguez in here with the the OG profile pick. Not not on a burner tonight. Rare appearance, not on a burner. Man, we are. For everyone in this, this is what Miles and I are dealing with. Check this out, guys. This is probably ten minutes from my house. Dog Glare, glad to see you. Yo, Cliff, Cliff, Cliff says he's glad to see my dog Gary. You love to see that. That's supposed to be a highway. Jenny, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I don't think it was important, but. No, it wasn't. That's supposed to be a highway. Like five, ten minutes away from the house. Crazy. Oh. I'm back in Delaware, Rodriguez. I, I drove back late last night, which wasn't smart because. It was terrible conditions. Oh, yeah, flooding, yeah. And the, the worst part is, like, all the roads coming back down here are all, like, dark and windy, right? So I... They're like, beautiful during the day, but yeah. Yeah, no, facts, but not when it's... Yeah. Like, I couldn't see any of the flooding. So I would just be going randomly on a road and then just hit a button, like, you know what I'm saying? So it was super wasn't smart to come back down here, but oh, well, I had to. Did you finish dealing with all the water in your basement? Yeah, it wasn't much. Dude, I'm gonna have to throw all the turf in my basement. Yeah, that sucks, man. I I would just move the work. Well, I guess you're not there too often, but maybe move the workout room to the the room that used to be the inventory room. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, the, the water in my basement wouldn't be that much of an issue if the turf wasn't there because the turf is like a sponge. It sucks it all up, and then it doesn't dry, right? If it was just the cement, I'd just be able to zoom it up with the the, uh, the shop back and be done with it, but it is what it is. It feels good. Dude, I don't know. Like, I didn't think I was going to like these that much when we started, like, like you know, 
late July or whatever, but I genuinely find myself looking forward to them. So we're going to keep doing them. I've been doing them for a minute. Oh my oh we just lost Garrett. Damn. Hey, let's get you guys <laughs> let's get some condolences for Garrett in the chat. Where are we all checking in from tonight, by the way, too? I'm in Pennsylvania. I closed up the tab on accident. Texas, uh, California, he's dead to us. Facts, yeah. Don't ever do that to us again. What happened? You bozo. Yeah, I, I exited off the screen. That you did. Uh, we're both in, no, nah, we're both in uh, Southeastern. I'm right outside of King of Prussia. And Miles is. Yeah, like near Allentown. Well, she's up in Lehigh Valley. That's near Allentown. But that is Allentown. That is Allentown, yeah. I'm in Lehigh Valley. Nebraska. How far would you... Dude, the good thing about Nebraska is that no storms can ever find it because it's not a state, so they don't get any hurricanes. They have tornadoes there. My boy Rodriguez playing tennis and, like, is not messing with it. Nebraska. How old is Garrett? Uh, he turns 30 next month. <laughs> Not true. I'm 24. How was the rain? Watermelon 92. It was miserable. Worst rain I've ever been a part of. I titled it Traveling for Free and Ben isn't in here. Oh. It what was the name? Yeah, it was the homie. Oh, Miami, one Victoriano Cafe. Good to see you in here. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we've seen you in the past few days, uh, and maybe a week or so. But yeah, Danny, uh, we were just in Miami like three weeks ago. It was a smashing time. Smashing time. No, it was bad. Where, where that adjective came from, but it was a good time for sure. Happy September. Was just rewatching another live and finally get to see a live. Seth, what's Hello. good, homie? I saw Warner put up sixty last month. That's awesome. Oh, my boy Kevin on the talk too. Dan, what's good? Yeah, anyone in here that's also in southeastern PA. Hope y'all are doing okay. I was just rewatching another live and finally get to see I'm Seth, thank you. We're glad we got you in here. Any questions you have? You let us know. We'll be on here probably the next hour and a half, two hours or so, hopefully uh, around uh, the latter part of that because we missed you guys last night due to a giant storm, but we're back here to get some value. Used to live in PA. Uh, interesting. What part did you used to live in? Um, do you guys recommend payability? So payability isn't a resource either of us have used. I've definitely considered it. I believe Garrett has as well. It has been a very good resource for some of our friends, although we don't have any personal experience with it. I, I applied. They offered me a loan. So I was more interested in um, um, uh, the one-time upfront cash rather than the percentage of sales. Um, but yeah, I got approved. Um, they're super quick, very good customer service. Um, it's just a matter of if you need it or not. That was a while ago though. This baby, I'm a gangster too. And it takes two. Uh, my, uh, my scout IQ affiliate tripled this month. Heck yeah. People are using it for my YouTube link. So if that was you, thank you. Uh, it's funny though, because mine had been 11, 11 bucks for like two years. I'm going to message Caleb and be like, I'm finally rich now. <laughs> that dude's crushing the game, bro. <sighs> 
Oh, he's active, so he's he'll probably banter back in uh next few minutes. Uh what uh cool times all the time. Facts. Was it a I assume it's business associated because I mean it's you know, it's pay, like it's for business and such. Agreed. Want to? Uh, do you have any videos for beginners? Yeah. So one, I should make one called Amazon for Dummies, like Beginner's Guide. I might even write that down. Um, but yeah, let me let me find the specific video. But I know Garrett and I pulled a clip from a stream that was really good for um for beginners. Uh, let me see. Yes. Okay. Right here. There's your boy like two months ago. Uh, but this one's good. I'm going to put this in the chat. Wow. That's 500 views. I'm hyped. Um, I'm going to put that in the chat here. So any of you guys, whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I didn't even know super chats were on. Um, but I like, I'm pretty, I didn't think I was able to put them on, but yeah, the channel is monetized now. Um, so thank you for that Rodriguez. Um, uh, I don't know if, uh, you, all right, well, let's, I guess, yeah, five minutes will, or a few minutes, we'll keep the donut up there. Oh, yeah, Richie, I'm, I'm flexing on that, I guess, uh, first Super Chat. Yeah, I didn't even know I could do that. Um, like, I, I looked today, and I didn't even think I could turn it on, but maybe I'll fix something. But that is that is the first $5 I've made here on YouTube, September 2nd, 2021. Hopefully, lots more um, where that came from. But thank you, Rodriguez. Uh, let's that's cool. I mean, uh, I had, uh, I guess like get something cool turns or something on that, but yeah, five dot. Yeah. That is an expensive donut. Uh, but that's a coffee right there. So that's good. Rodriguez, I'll get you back once we're live streaming on your channel. Once you inevitably create one. <laughs> I had a couple shorts do really well the past 24 hours. So my views were really high. I'm hype. Watch hours. Um, OMG. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill. Yo, chill, chill, chill. Richie, chill. I, I well, oh, gee. Yeah. Oh, stop. Stop. Make it. All right. All right. All right. I should. Well, I guess the thing is, you can't make it not show. So, hey, Rodriguez, don't. Don't. Seriously. Rodri Rodriguez, don't. But thank, thank you, Richie. Seriously. Um, <laughs> uh, did y'all hear about the new transparency code system? Uh, I saw you guys talking about that in the Discord, but I didn't look closely enough. Um, I am going to have to look into that. But I don't know. I feel like I haven't heard enough noise about it, but it could be really new, which is why I haven't. Um, but we will see. All right, I just changing the subject here. Changing, uh, oh, John, I'm sending you the invite. My bad. I sent it to everyone, and I, I always forget someone on the email chain. Um, Dang! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Ch I, thank you, thank you, D. All right, changing the subject. The link to the beginner video is in there. <laughs> Miles won the lotto tonight. Facts. Yeah, time to retire, actually. No more live streams. Supernat chat now. Yeah, John, I'm getting big time, I guess. Oh, yeah, thank you. Dan, this is interesting, though, because, like, from the start of live streams, like, that, yo, Mr. Beast, yeah, <laughs> Mr. Beast, $10,000. <laughs> Damn, yeah, thank you, Richie. Yeah, this is, uh, honor, yeah, double car gang. Shout out to do double car gang. How do I make him show? Oh, oh, okay. So I can make him show on here. That's interesting. Garrett about to make his YouTube channel. Yeah, facts. We'll spend a month live streaming on Garrett's every day. Yeah, I don't know if that's happening. <laughs> Double car gang. Oh, uh, Sean. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Toss it up on the screen. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about.
they show in the chats anyway, so don't gotcha. Um, so, yes, sir. Oh, you have the Scout IQ merch on. That's tough. I, mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been trying to get some of that from Caleb for videos, but that's good. Yeah, that's cool. I, I like that color, too. I, I got this color and I think a blue one, possibly. I cannot remember. Yeah, I love this shirt. This is like one of the most comfortable shirts ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Something just happened. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, okay. My Seller Central app was tripping, but it's back now. Right. All right, John, how are things, man? Pretty good. How are things with you guys? I can't complain. A little stressful. A lot of stuff to deal with. But, you know, the, the game we play, definitely. Yeah, I mean, the, the yeah, show, I'm sure I'm certainly doesn't Like, I'd rather do this than a lot of other things for sure. Like, you know what sure. I mean? Yeah, I feel like we could just do this all day. Like, it'd be pretty crazy. Uh, does Garrett get a cut? He should, yeah, now that I think about it. I, I'll dump it into the uh, the marketing budget for AOA prep. Don't worry. <laughs> I gotta make a few reels still today. Let's let me find some good sounds. I was looking today. I didn't really find much. Does yeah. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. In that, in that, yeah, facts. <laughs> Nah, Richie wants him to donate, uh, put it into NFTs. The Gary V book. I heard, I, Richie, no. I heard Richie loves the NFT market. Biggest fan. Big Cardano guy, I know that. Where the brands, uh, more gaming. I wouldn't worry about that. Like, if that, if something like that happens, we're probably all screwed, and like we have bigger problems, but. I just don't see like why they would feel the need to do that. You know what I mean? It'll be great to stop replicas, though. I can tell you that much. If I'm getting what you're saying correctly. Split the millions in 10 years. Yeah. That would be like really crazy. Like You'd be like one of those stories. Like If you did this 10 years ago, you would have had $10 million. I'm actually pretty... I put like 6K into crypto like uh, three months ago. Now it's like 10K. Wow, that's uh, awesome. Yeah, it's up up like fifty percent or so. Maybe it was uh maybe, let me right. what'd you buy? Just like Ethereum? Yeah, just Bitcoin and Ethereum. Could, we'll actually uh, get on the train. Yeah, I mean I I know yeah, I, uh, hopefully it's good in the future. Um what do you got what do you guys eat? Garrett eats the same thing every day. Um ADA, yeah, ADA is Cardano, I think. Uh, is AMZ Scout good? Uh, I'm not really sure about AM AMZ uh, Scout, to be honest. I've definitely heard of it, but I'm going to take a look at it on Google right now. Oh, it's like Jungle Scout, okay. Um, Jungle Scout. <laughs> so there's two, they're obviously running Google Ads, both of them, Jungle Scout and AMZ Scout. And AMZ Scout's number one. Oh, no, that's not AMZ Scout, never mind. But Jungle Scout's the second Google ad running. It says Jungle Scout is better. It's good banter. Um, yeah. It's the end of the four, four year cycle. Uh, what do you guys think of, about Amazon having to split their store? I wouldn't worry about that. I, I think, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think that's too big a deal. All right, I'm going to go grab my computer charger, of which I'm not really sure where it is, but hopefully I'll be back in like a sec. Ask, ask Garrett some questions so he can be uncomfortable. <laughs> I know. Got the pen on his shirt. Yeah. Right. He must be serious tonight. If you have, you brought the pen. My shirts come with pens. I buy them with the pen. Yeah. Is that a bolo for everyone? This one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a quality pen. Purchased from Amazon. Yeah, so so we so that, that that's mainly in reference to wholesale. Um, for the OA stuff, 
if it's coming from retail stores, there's not really a need to test it. Um, and, and like I said, our tests are going to be 20 to 40 units before we place multiple hundred um, PO, uh, units per PO. Um, so yeah, every, every wholesale order is being tested with 20 to 40 units just to check all the boxes, right? So spe specifically, if we've never ordered from the supplier before, we want to make sure the lead time is acceptable. We want to make sure the product comes in in the packaging that we would expect. We want to make sure we're able to list it to Amazon. We want to make sure it sells, no IP complaints, um, all those things. We want to check all those boxes in terms of wholesale before we start purchasing um, larger quantities for OA, um, especially with order quantities, like you were saying, 20 to 40 units. Uh, there's not really a need to test, especially when we're dealing with those low of quantities. Um, that's what I was referring to, though. Tell us an embarrassing story about Miles. Oh, my gosh. I got a bunch. Got a bunch. The time I beat you in basketball. Yeah. Yeah, he smoked me. Miles is actually really good at basketball. I've been trying to tell people, man. I've been. You, got game. you wouldn't think he's an athlete, but he could shoot. I heard Carter, <laughs> Carter Maxwell's getting the smoke next. Carter's not good. No, I bet he is definitely good. Nah, I, I would assume he's there. I, very good. Yeah, I, I could see him being good. I could see him as a baller. By the way, guys, if anyone in here um, has sent um, products to the prep center this month or the past month, my team's working on the invoices now. I should be able to approve them tonight and get them out uh, probably tomorrow. They probably won't go out tonight. Um, but, yeah, that is on the way. Iowa Hawks, you do not want the work on the court, man. No, oh, come to PA. We'll, we'll, we, can, <laughs> we can run it out. Yeah, should we do like three on three? We'll do PA versus we'll take on any other state. Well, yeah, we got three us three here from PA. And Noah off the bench. Noah can be our fourth man. No, he does not deserve any. <laughs> He's a bozo. John, your video views are going up. I'm taking a look yeah, at it. It's great. Like, yeah, I gotta keep growing the channel. Oh, it's been I've been so busy, but like I have three or four videos ready to go. I'm just oh, trying to just sit definitely. down yeah. and just Film them like the OA video. Them. That's that has 150. View. Like that. Sorry. That's clearly a topic. Is it really? Before. Yeah, I it's 150 that. now. I'm looking at it. Um. Well, I have one coming out that like I have to reshoot it because I said like some bad stuff about Walmart that I don't want to post. <laughs> but I bought from a couple third party sellers and it did not go well. Uh, oh, by mistake. By accident or what? Yeah, by accident. I thought like you know how you buy something on Amazon, you think it's like Amazon, but it's third party sellers. Yeah. I literally think the DVDs are fake. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah there's like be a good lesson for a video, at least. Yeah, no, I'm definitely doing it. I kind of slam Walmart, so I kinda wanna take it back a little bit, but <laughs> I'm definitely going to uh post that. I'm gonna post a short right now. While we're at it, I got copyright striked on YouTube my first day being monetized. How? <laughs> it was from a short with a TikTok sound that I guess is licensed, which makes sense. I mean, like a, a song that's licensed. I think that makes sense. Like, as long as, as long as they don't shut my channel down. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like that's at least nice. Like, if that was Amazon, they'd be like, your account at risk of deactivation. Yeah, yeah. No, shout out to you. I, I, I'm a big fan of YouTube and Google. Same. I'm going to post a short right now. Shorts are amazing. I have to get into shorts. Yeah, it's just the That's organic good. reach. Like, you, like, I'd say like half my shorts get over a thousand views, which obviously oh. they're not high in 10 because it's just, you know, scrolling on stuff, but Either way, I mean, is there a time limit on them, or probably a minute? I I I just take reels and put them on. Oh. Honestly, I'll, I'll I I gotta start making better reels so I better like content to bring over. But either way, yeah. I haven't made a single reel yet. I definitely gotta get on that. Warner sent me this good one he made, and he told me to to remake to make it. Like so, I'll probably I'll probably end up doing that after this. 
Um, I posted in the Amazon book uh, question section about the Owlet babies. Oh, Amazon backend question. Yeah, let me take a look at that. She's referencing uh, Amazon backend here in, uh, dis in uh, the Discord. Um, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Is everything all right over there, Garrett? You look like very relaxed. Usually you're like, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Uh, um, Aubrey, yeah. So you need to sell as many things as quick as possible, even if you're breaking even. You need to get your ODR down. You can appeal like the A to Z can't claim, but the biggest thing is focusing, like forget the money, it's your account health. Um, and because you only have like 20 orders in there, you need, you just need sell through. You can drown that out with sales easily. Like one screw up when you're selling 100 units a day or 50 units a day is way different than one screw up when you're selling, you know, five units a day. So you need to find some quick moving stuff and sell through it. Gary, you're muted. Gary, you're muted. He has to unmute himself. I can just kick him if you guys want. Oh, you didn't hear me. Oh, so I'm working with my team to get the, the invoices started. That's why I've been. Yeah, you need to invoice me. I, I'll, like, do the math, though, because it's easy to track what we did. Um, yeah, well, you don't follow. Yeah, you, you do your own sort of thing. So That's what been... happens when you're the CMO of the company. You get the freedom. <laughs> that's, like, in the – that's, like, what generally understood. Okay, IP IP claims. Uh, let me take a look at that, Robert. Um, okay, brands that IP complaint. Um, what's your Discord name? It's interesting. We've been adding so many like creative channels that really help. I think filter the content through. Like in the, we used to have like five questions channels and now there's like 20 and like all of them are popping like because it makes it, you know, because it's easier to answer stuff. If I get any questions, just let me know. I think I just had a pretty good idea for something to add to the Discord. I'll, I'll let y'all know off camera. Uh, anyone know on Gate for Automotive? What are you invoicing, Garrett? Prep Center clients, I would assume. Mm -hmm. I'm a dude, by the way. I was cursed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because your your profile picture on Discord is a dude, so I I figured. Uh, or it looks like a dude. Um, when you sell on eBay, do you need the box? Not necessarily. I would just make it clear in your descriptions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lowe's. You you y'all gotta talk to Kevin about Lowe's, man. Starting at Power Forward from near Burlington, Vermont. Ben Bush. Oh what up? what up, John? Garrett, Miles. Hello, buddy. Good to see you, man. Good to see you guys too. How's it going? Very good, man. It's a shame we didn't get to kick it more in, more in Miami. Next time, we got to plan out staying near each other better with, like, the whole group. Because we oh, did yeah, sure. a poor job of that. Yeah. I mean, I would have got to see you guys more yeah. at the networking after party, but, I mean, that didn't really work out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Under Armour was, sent me a cease and desist. Wow. Uh, I, was, I was wasted anyways. I was, I was useless. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know. Was it a? Do you think it was for a specific product or just the brand in general? Oh yeah, I didn't post on Instagram. My bad. I'm about to post a live on Instagram, um, and I'll tag all you guys. Yeah, I was wondering if you're going live because I didn't get the email, and I was like, yeah, let me see what he's on here. Oh, you get an email when I go live? No, you sent me the link. But... Oh, oh yeah, okay. My bad. <laughs> um, all right. YouTube live for the next hour. Got a whole bunch of the boys on here. We're having a good time doing Q&A. Come hang out. Swipe up. Where are you at, Ben? I'm back in Maine. I'm, I'm finally back. I got here like two or three days ago, and I've literally just had so much shit to do. Business-wise? <laughs> yeah, just so much to get back to with shoes. And uh, I, I still have like all these like 46 cards that I still need to take photos of that came back from grading that I need to sell. 
all the soccer cards and then the shoes yeah. and the books and everything. What? They've appreciated as you like, did they come back graded the way you wanted them to be? I mean, these cards were all submitted kind of early in my learning. So like they're mostly base cards, but they like after grading versus what I bought them for, they basically hold held their value. So I should be able to get like at the minimum 2,500 and at the max, like four grand for them. Um, it's just a lot of work because it's like single cards. I, I had a buyer that usually buys them at 70% of comps and I just like give him everything and it's super nice, but he doesn't do soccer. So I have to deal with it myself. But I mean, the, the grades are really good. My like 10 to nine to whatever ratio. So I'm happy with that. It on Instagram post one Yeah, yeah, I did. I thought it was good. Yeah, it seems like you had more higher grades than lower. Yeah, I mean, the IP complaints. All right, let me check. Let me check. Let me this check. was all the ten. This was all the all the tens. Oh. And then there was only this many that weren't tens, basically. Oh, okay. So that's pretty good. So it's pretty good odds. And I did a good job of just like looking at them. I got one six, which is like worthless, but I don't know what I was thinking looking at that one. So what'd you pay for all the cards? Uh, probably have it on. I, I think it was probably an average of like 50 to 75 bucks a card or so. And now they're worth like 75 to a hundred a card maybe. I mean like it's not really a ton of profit. But, like, considering that they were all base cards that got a little overpopulated over the last year that it took to grade them, um, they crazy. held their value pretty well. Yeah, and plus, I mean, when you start anything, I mean, you know, you're not getting, like, monster margins. You're just trying to learn and, like, figure yeah. things out. Exactly. And I'm ready to get, get the three grand back for OA. <laughs> there you go. Did you all get hit up there um, by the storm, Ben? No, we didn't at all, actually. I, I was surprised. Oh, wow. It was it was pouring rain for, like, half an hour when I was in Vermont on the weekend, but, like, like more rain than I'd ever seen in half an hour. But other than that, like, not really much. Thank you uh, for the, um, the super chat here, Alicia. Um, it's weird. I never seen super sticker, but thank you. Uh, regardless, uh, I when, that was. when will Amazon uh, offer me a, you a loan? Hopefully soon. I'm I'm thinking the same thing. I hopefully soon for me as well. You don't oh, have one. Yeah, you don't have one, Miles. No, it's weird. Do all you guys? Yeah, I have like a twenty thousand dollar one. I think I have a twenty one thousand dollar one. Booksellers yeah. also do a lot of volume. That's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hopefully soon, man. Vermont, eh, well, hello from Montreal. Montreal is pretty lit. I like Montreal. It's only like an hour and a half from where I live, so, or where I used to live. What do you do if you're MFA a product for Amazon is on the listing with Buy Box? I just undercut um, them on price. Yeah, I mean, it's no different than anything else, right? So you always have to be um, conscientious when Amazon's in the picture. Um, look at the Keepa establish an understanding in terms of how often they are out of stock. Um, if they're not sharing their buy box, then I would either uh, liquidate the product, bring it back, whatever, or um, undercut them by like 10, 15%. That'll give you a chance at making a sale. Otherwise, if they're out of stock by like 60, 70% of the time or under that mark, um, I would just hold out um, because they're likely to go out of stock eventually. And, um, You'll get your sales then. Do you, out of curiosity, do you buy product that Amazon's on or no? So our, our metric is 60%. Yeah. If their out of stock rate is over 60%, Makes sense. then we'll, we'll go in it. It all depends on the on the product, right? If they're, and majority speaking, yeah. if, they, if they share the buy box, right? There's yeah. sometimes it's not very often where there's a, a glitch in the algorithm where they're on the product, but they share buy box, which is cool, right? Like game on. But if they're, if you look at a Keepa and it's just flat, then I got no time for that, right? Because they're mm -hmm. going to be in 100% ownership of the buy box. 
there's enough opportunity on Amazon where I don't need to concern myself with that and, and just go somewhere else, right? Um, but yeah, it all depends. If Amazon's sharing the sharing the buy box, that's a good thing. Or if they're just out of stock, right? We know that by the the break in the orange on the graph, if there's consistently breaks in that orange, then that means they go out of stock, and then that means there's obviously more opportunity for um for your sales. Can you guys hear that beeping on my computer? Yeah, Discord's popping off, man. I hope that's yeah. the launch pad. Is that the, yeah, the launch pad. Okay, good. Yeah, so Robert, I tagged the boys in there, and it looks like they've uh, taken care of it. Um, there's 17 people on it. Um, favorite favorite places to source books. I mean, starting starting out, it was thrift stores. Make a map of all of them in your area. Go to every single one. Scan all the books, figure out which ones are the better ones. Uh, take advantage of library sales with free book sale finder or uh, booksalefinder.com. Uh, post free book pickup ads. Um, just saying that you'll you'll take books. Um, those did well for me. And then like going out of state too um, to just keep doing it until either maximizing that model out or going into bulk kind of are your options. That's, that's like one of the biggest hacks is like figure out like one to two hours away from you. Like store yeah. those areas and like go visit and see what's good. Yeah, no, I was driving Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, Massachusetts basically for books. And sleeping in the whip too, man. Yeah. That's a, that's a cheap yeah. life. <laughs> So Ben, what, you, what came first, the, the ambition to go into bulk or the source? For bulk? Uh, the okay. Is it? I'm not okay. moving. Uh, yeah, I don't think anyone was though. Okay, What's everyone up? talk. John, talk. What's up, Ben? What's up, Garrett? Howdy. All right. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> okay, seriously, I think it's gone, so we're good. Uh, <laughs> that was weird. What was, you heard like a weird sound? Yeah, yeah I heard everyone had it. Yeah. Uh, what were you saying, Garrett? So what for you? What came first, the source or the ambition to, to go into bulk? Uh the source came first. Um, and yeah, I mean, basically. It's, 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 okay. I really don't think it was Garrett. I'm not moving. I'm I'm literally just stationary. No one like I can see everyone just booling like. I don't know. Man. So you you found the source and then you. Wait, is it my pad? I think it is. I I took the pad away. I don't I don't know if that was it or not, but. That's weird. I don't know. Are you outside? Not nah, Garrett's in his warehouse. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so you found the source and you're like, heck yeah, let's get into bulk. Okay, see, okay, okay. We're going to give each, like, I'm going to mute and, like, one by one, we'll start with Garrett, obviously. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, we'll, we'll talk for, like, a few, few sex and see. Uh, favorite NFL theme? Um, you know, I think the Sunday night football one, but I probably haven't watched a football game in like 10 years. I have some, for some reason, it's stuck in my head, though. All right, I think it is Garrett. Um, I think it had to have been Garrett, man. Well, um, no, there's, there's still a lot of like – I can hear kind of like waves in the background. It might be me, but I don't know what I'm doing. I don't hear anything. I don't know if it's like a connection thing or Someone what. has act, Yeah. <laughs> Well, the Discord's popping off, though. That was the guy who thinks he's cool because he has a motorcycle. <laughs> what about, so, John, for you, what, what about you? Did the source come first or the ambition? I love the ambition. I got tired just going to stores and, like, I was more like, I'd rather, you know, pay and get the, the books and not have to fight with people at thrift stores. And that I was just never one to, like, library sales and stuff like that. So I knew if I could find especially a source that wasn't a thrift store, it'd be much better for me to do that. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. It might be me. Where's the microphone on the Mac? Because I got my laptop on my lap, but I'm not. 
Damn, you hate to see it. I don't know where the mic is. For the this bot just caught an IP complaint from North Face. Can't say we didn't warn him. The success, dude, the success chat is blowing up. Dude, we Do you guys always, use um, RevSeller at all? No. Yeah, I've, I've been using it. When I was heavy into shoes, I was, um, because that's really the main indicator of size by size, which one sells the fastest. <laughs> I was gonna say I think that's super helpful for IP complaints because it tells you, for the most part, what brands will follow them, uh, file them or whatnot. I know I always get like a pop up, and then I stay away from that. Yeah, it's such a weird sound. I'm not sure what it's coming. Does anyone, does anyone hear? Where's the microphone on the Mac? Um, I don't know. I don't know either. Well, is it not? I'm using a Mac too, so I'm not sure. Same here. Oh, it's not. I just banged against against the bottom of my computer, and that's. Who knows? Maybe it's me. I don't hear anything. I don't hear wait. I don't really hear anything. John's the culprit. I don't know. I don't know. Mute me and see what happens. No, I don't. I'm. It it just kind of seems seems like it's like coming in and out. So I don't know why that like would happen, but. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, someone, did, someone, mute the Discord. We're doing great, guys. We're doing great. <laughs> Are those all bolos, Ben? What? Are those all all? Uh, oh, is it, is it coming bolos? from my my computer? Yeah. I think the Discord is. I don't have Discord on my computer. I don't have Discord. On oh. My that's it. I've been trying to figure out where that sound's been coming from for like days on my computer. <laughs> How do I mute that? Do I have to mute all the categories? Just I would just close out the tab. Yeah. All right. The tab is gone. Yeah, no, I, I've just been having it open on my computer now instead because it's so much easier to look at the like OA leads and then just I agree. Check them out from there. I used to only use Discord on my phone, but now that I'm using like the all the Chrome extensions, it's so much easier. Same here. Are you finding a lot of OA leads or like good stuff to buy? Um, so I've I've only purchased two so far. Um, one of them sold one so far, so that was cool to have my first OA sale. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's like your first like book sale all over again. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it was pretty cool. Um, but I, I haven't had like any time to look into stuff yet because uh, I, the last two days I've just been doing shoe photography and like right. shoe stuff, and now after and then today I was sourcing for twelve hours with shoes. Um, but tomorrow I want to do some finally do some research because I have I have like four searches that just finished for like tactical arbitrage so i want to check those out yeah the, the first couple days on tactical arbitrage i i was getting like i i was only seeing like five like results for like an entire search and i was like what's going on like there's got to be more than this and it, it was happening like multiple times and then i realized there was like 47 pages and i was only looking at the first page and the five products and I was like, there's got to be more that it finds than five products on like an eight-hour search. Go watch um, Miles and my video on, on TA. That's a good one. Oh, video. yeah. No, I'm, I'm using all your settings, Garrett. Um, yeah, that's whack. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm using all your guys' settings uh, from that video that you guys did, which is super good, by the way. Yeah, I just haven't had too much time to look through them yet. Um, but we we had a big announcement at the uh, warehouse yesterday. We we officially like told the employees that like bulk is is no more after this truckload. Dunzo. Interesting. I only have well, I have the one helper. I'm like, I don't know. I probably shouldn't say this, but I have like inklings to be like, you know what? I'm gonna like stop after this, like focus on OA and something else and like pick it back up if I want to, but I honestly think bulk books is like 
I've talked to a bunch of people lately that are like, they want to get into it. I'm like, you guys are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just like, no, we're doing it. I'm like, okay, like, don't. I hope, I wish you the best. That's all I'm saying on that. Yeah, I know. Jack is di- like he's in a lot of things. Like he he is also heavily hitting other stuff, so he's gonna win regardless. But oh, he will because like he's selling like a crap load of shoes or whatever mm-hmm. else he's selling. Um, th- you can't go solo bulk books. That, yeah, that's no, I mean, clarification on that. Sorry, having uh having my business partner for bulk, I could not have done it without him. Like, there's no way I would have wanted to handle everything. Yeah. No way. But, yeah, no, we're, we're on our last truckload, and then we're kind of just, like, liquidating stuff. And it, it's kind of the perfect storm anyway because um, the warehouse just got bought by a new owner, so he's taking over our space anyway. So, like, we would have had to find a new warehouse, and at that mm-hmm. point we're just like, nah, we're, we're, we don't want to deal with that. Yeah, I'm in, like, a uh, kind of a different situation where, like, my eBay account is like going bananas. Like it's starting. Yeah, to I've been crazy. seeing that. It's been crazy. Yeah, like we did eight k last month just in eBay. Like insane. Okay. What's going on? The way it shows on yeah. like StreamYard, it's so far, it's so low that my bad. What's up? What's up, everyone? You just get off the truck. <laughs> I just got out of the hot tub. <laughs> which repressor is the best for only books reprice it the easiest <laughs> dude automation truck Chrissy. <laughs> you said you did 8k this month john for ebay yeah for ebay See, now that's how you do bulk books right you know what i mean like you you have to be diversified into other stuff with restock limits and everything but yeah you either- like- weird um, angling that like OA will take off and then almost I'll buy both books just to do eBay. Because there are just like some oh, sets. Really? Well, I texted you that said I sold for like 1200 bucks to that one person. Oh yeah, dude, that was insane. I would make a video about just even, you obviously that don't have for two before. loads of books. That yeah. 1200, like it's insane. Um, So yeah, I gotta make a video about that, but I don't know, there's just some stuff in bulk like books like we spent all day today just researching books we found like five or six grand worth of books to list so it's like it's pretty are you good. hard are you listing That's mostly on eBay? we're getting much better are you listing mostly on ebay um no so we're doing our normal volume on amazon but we're just getting so much better at finding these rare books just from like knowing yeah. what to look for what sold in the past that like we were doing maybe like 10 to 12 ebay listings a week now this week i'll put up like 50 like it's insane like the, i mean it's much harder because like there's a lot more involved but like i'm really starting to see the payoff um of everything now yeah and that i mean it's like you know, when we start talking about eight grand of extra profit, or you know, probably after fees and stuff, you know, maybe five or six or something. It's six, and that's the crazy part. Like that's like you know, eighty k a year. You know what I mean? And you'll get better at it, and stuff will compound. You know, like yeah, mm-hmm. and that's only over. I think ah, don't quote me on this, but it's only like fifty or sixty sales. So it's very very high end stuff that we're selling. Garrett, what's the warehouse looking like right now? It's packed. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Any are any roads flooded by you near the warehouse? Um, not the warehouse, but my house. Everything is, yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm Coatesville's underwater. Damn. Yeah, those, those photos you sent look crazy. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Garrett Flash a UPC. <laughs> Flashy, yeah, dude. Kevin stays saying that. Yeah, show him the show him the uh the spoons or something. <laughs> so repri has a similar a reprice. It has AI now. Did they really? That's not shocking. Repri- Repri- automation is a scam. 
Yeah. Danny, yeah, I'm changing his name to that. No. Leave me alone. <laughs> How do you ensure that's his name? Wow. You that's that's that. Wow. Yeah, that's like dictator type power. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> you, ensure you aren't mismatching items when sourcing shoes, clothing away. Uh, the, the pictures are going to be a good start. Obviously, you want to look at all the pictures. Make sure. Typically, at least one of the pictures will match one uh, one to one. Um, so that obviously is a is a, a sure tell. Um, if it has a UPC, that's always going to be obviously the best case scenario. But with a lot of shoes and stuff, that's not going to happen. I would say, yeah, shoes, and just with experience, you'll you'll start to know what's um what's what, right? Because you're going to be, I likely buying the same stuff, right? So once you buy it once, you know what it looks like, and then you can identify where it maps on Amazon. Yeah, Seller Snap is bread though. Yeah, yeah. I use Seller Snap. Um, it's very expensive, but it's also like you have to actually like customize it to make it worth it. Eric, scan everything. Yeah. Don't give up. Yep. Anything you should know, it's going to be hard. You're going to see other people there. Um, don't cheap out. Get get a database. Yeah, get to get to forty four dollar yeah. plan. Definitely get the database. You can make that in five books. Like, yeah, yeah. Like and use the free oh, scanner too. Uh, use the link in the description. <laughs> you can get a free trial with it. Yeah, get some scat IQ, and you'll be <laughs> represent. Yeah, scout IQ and a scanner is all you need. And also, just just acknowledge the fact that. The books isn't your long term, so it might it might suck, it might not be fun, but like books isn't a long term solution, right? It's just mm -hmm. the the entryway. It's a it's a living breathing course, which will allow you to start to get a sense of keep us, start to get a sense of the entire process cycle, um, from purchasing a product to ultimately getting into your account. Just start to get your feet wet with how Amazon works, and then you can you can obviously progress it and scale from the books. But books are just so obviously uh, abundant they're cheap so it allows you to make a lot of mistakes at a, at a one a short period of time but cheap right it allows you to fail cheap um, and then compound that knowledge as you as you continue to grow your business and get a listing software that's going to save you hours yeah what's the excel list excel list shout out excel list a scanner a scat iq or look at 90 bucks you could find that and I assume, uh, obviously the free trial, the uh, scanner doesn't have a free trial, but I bet Accelerolist does, and I know Scout IQ does. Oh, Miles, put um, put Kevin's, put Kevin's comment on the screen. Oh, and we profit. <laughs> Dude, I had Accelerolist for free for like seven months. Yeah, that was good banter. It was like I a when you guys all had that. Um, like an error. I like I had um, I think I had like a debit card on it, and then I close that bank account and then it just never it, it said like my account was inactive but it just kept listing it went on for like seven months Whoa. yeah shout out that guy i owe him some money travis um, travis yeah <laughs> and and whatever that like assistance name is that you always talk to when there's issues i think it's <laughs> oh, true, I, isn't it it's or i forget who it is that facebook group is pretty good so Miles gets his shoes. He doesn't really go to outlets too too much. He typically gets them online retail. Yeah, online arbitrage. What is the average price when merchant fulfilling a non book item? My books have been three to four items through bound print. Um, so if it's less than a pound, it's going to be anywhere like five to six dollars. If it's a couple pounds and and, and smaller, it's going to be priority. So it's going to be anywhere between eight and eleven ish, depending on what zone you're shipping in. Um, and if it's big and bulky, you're going to ship probably UPS, and it's going to be anywhere between uh, a couple a couple tens. You know, I, think, um, I ship I ship anything over a pound UPS. Yeah, I'm US, a yeah, yeah, UPS or USPS sucks. How many times do I have to post to get an answer? Jeez, we already answered it. Sorry. Shut up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. I'm joking. I'm joking. Who's you and I? Did he just give you another 50? 
Whoa, what? Whoa, we got we have tits. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, Danny. Where'd you, where'd you get Danny, tits? Danny, it's monetized now. Yeah. Oh, oh no. what the hell? Yeah, I'm like. Well, I was probably close to like 500 bucks tonight. Well, not not that much. Not they're like. Oh, uh, you're like still young though. I mean. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Seriously, Richie. Everyone, go oh, subscribe to Richie. Yeah, that, that guy yeah. has some energy. Rodriguez, Rodriguez broke the ice. I didn't even know they were turned on. I like tried oh, to. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kevin, Kevin, showing out. Thank you, Kevin. Double car gang. Double Triple car gang. gang. Quad car gang. He was posting some crazy shipments, like five, like such big boxes. Q4 items, probably. Wait, I kind of want to send a super chat now. No, I already subscribed to Richie and a member. Yeah, yeah, double card game. We're all double card game in here. Also, Holix. Facts. Just miles official now, yeah. I'll be right back. When did you hit the monetization? Uh, yeah, yeah, yesterday, yesterday. Nice. No, a few days ago, but I got approved yesterday. But yeah, it was the goal for uh, August. That's good. But either way, I like generally like am so like like it blows my mind that like people you know like my videos and stuff. So I'm like really like doing it. And I watch so much of other people's YouTube videos that I like appreciate, you know, the work they put in. So I like you know, really try to do my best on here, but I'm going to be doing this hopefully for years and years and years. Like I, I think it'd be so cool to like, you know, like really track my progress on here and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of YouTube, man. Yeah. YouTube's <laughs> cool because it's just forever. Yeah. Yeah. Nice I was thinking about this earlier. I think YouTube is my favorite uh, platform, like on the internet. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree because you can learn stuff, you entertainment, you know. That's true. Yeah, I got a bunch of YouTube videos coming, so I'm excited to make those. Good, 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 very good. Yeah, I was, I was saying, I, John, I really like the style you've been doing lately. I'm um, like the, you know, just chilling, talking on stuff. I get a get some ideas to pump out some more of those. Because theoretically, you know, you've been putting out one every few days. Like, I totally should be able to, too. You know what I mean? Because people are clearly watching them. You know, they're getting value. They're commenting. So I got to get my game up. Oh, John, John thank you, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, I've never done the super chat before. I was like, you know, I don't know, know Google like, has all my credit card info. And, like, I just had to put in some security <laughs> codes. So like, let thank me grab my wallet real quick. Put on the card. Bro, Ruben, my- Ruben, thank you. Yeah, Ruben quit his job recently to sell on Amazon. Maybe, Ruben, maybe you and I should do an interview. Uh, we can talk about that. That'd be cool. Uh, no, but yeah, definitely. I'm just like trying to like. I think now I'm trying to like overthink it a little bit. So like yesterday, I'm like, I'm just gonna go from the car, just like, say it, and like upload it and go for it. Because that's the thing too. Like thinking from the audience's perspective, like. Some people literally just like like watching you talk, you know what I mean? Like they just yeah. want to hear what you have to say, like unfiltered, you know, beginner stuff. Like, because I that's because like, um, Romer's probably been like my biggest inspiration content wise, and like I like watching his old stuff because it really like tells his story and stuff. And I just want to, you know, be that for some people as well. I was kind of like yesterday, I'm like, guys, like it sucks when Amazon's doing a book seller, like it's real, like it's not like. Yeah, hey, like make a thousand dollars an hour. It's like no, like this is like what could happen to you potentially. Like you got to pivot. Yeah, yeah. It's like Naval's podcast. Authentic- authenticity takes away competition. Yes, that's like, you guys are in that quote. That's an awesome quote. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Naval's podcasts are legendary. Yeah, the How to Get Rich one is crazy. It's so like, it, you should listen to that every week or at least once a month. Yeah, how do you know how much profit you made. I made seven fifty. So, do you use Inventory Lab? Um, if you use Inventory Lab, it makes it super, super simple, right? So, if you go into your reporting, or if you look on the monthly view, it it shows itemized your itemized breakdown in terms of how much you spent on shipping, how much was the buy cost, how much you sold it for, and all the expenses um, corresponding with that sale. 
Um, so that's option number one. Um, secondly, if Cindy, thank you. Sorry, I just had to get that in. Was... Um, you could also develop. I love Jamie. This is only in. Yeah, so if you go to Amazon, they do a lot of. Amazon has a really good reporting infrastructure on the payments. Um, and I forget what it's called. I think it's. If you go to reports. I think it's the transaction report. I think it is. Um, and it shows line by line everything what financially happened with your account. Um, it even breaks down like your Amazon fees. It, um, everything, 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 everything. Um, so that's your second option. Go into Amazon. Um, I think it's transaction report, but it's you should be looking at all the reports, see what's in there, because um, there's a lot of valuable information there. Um, but one of them will give you all the information you need. I just absolutely annihilated some fruit flies. All right, and I was swatting the other day. I had a fly keep bugging me. I got one of those zapper things finally because they've been expanding. And I put like apple cider vinegar in a trash bag or like a cardboard paper bag. And then I just noticed there was like a bunch of them in it. And I started shaking the bag with the zapper just above it. And it was just like fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Only 17 likes? Likes up. Actually, I didn't think I liked it. I don't think I liked it. Yeah, so come on. Show some love, man. Pull out the burner accounts. I know that he just has the burner accounts. Richie Dude, I with the facts. Burner accounts, man. Back to your point, Danny. I think YouTube is the best network for, like, an actual someone who's creating content. Like, when you look at, like, I was looking the other day, like, where all my views come from. It's all YouTube, like survey. Search, so, search, yeah, man. Mo so mine's a lot of search, like it's crazy. It's amazing, man. Twenty-one likes, good looking out, Justin. Appreciate you. Yeah, I think like YouTube University, like the idea of learning anything on YouTube is like a very real thing. Agreed. And being the supplier of that content for the yeah. niches of which we have a. Uh, like, seriously, Danny, I would make some videos about trucking just because it's like people, you know, like want to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, just, I've been look, I've been looking at like the content in there. It's, uh, I mean, there's definitely a, a, a like space for like some quality content about it. Just in general, though, because you have all, you know, we can bring audience to it. Definitely. Should I, should I open a, a, a trucking channel in, uh, in the Amazon launch? <laughs> hey, you can try it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Just do for yourself. I mean, imagine. Oh, Danny, at Danny, like Danny, ago. post, post the truck in hashtag success. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, YouTube's just a page to document too, and just yeah. like oh see all the things that you're doing. Like seriously, I find myself like looking forward to doing this every night. So hopefully, you know, we keep doing it for a while. But like, I seriously do find myself looking forward to it every night. Uh, Ruben, thank you, man. Really appreciate that. Um. What do you do? Uh, that's dumb comment. Um, been uh, funny train game. Yeah. Wow. Finally listed my books, and one of them has an old st sticker in the back ripped off. Is it still sellable? I mean, yeah, for seventy yeah. profit, I'd probably risk it. Yeah, as Work like it as acceptable and put in the condition notes what happened. Yeah, that's well said. And even at the start, I would risk a negative feedback for seventy profit. Honestly. Yeah. Another thing with like YouTube is that you don't know what like people are gonna find like amazing and helpful. Like I made yeah, quality is subjective. Yeah. yeah. The the one like video I made, there was no videos on how to do an LTL like shipment to Amazon. And I made one of those videos, and I think it's like number four or five now when you search it on YouTube. Wow. Really. Same with my Instacart video. That one was like top ten for a while. Dude, yeah, last like a thousand views. To like. You were crushing it on Instacart. Yeah, Instacart was crazy. Fifteen grand, was three, crazy. three months. That's Looking back crazy. on it, if it was like if something like that happened again, I would legitimately be streaming twenty four seven, like, like ten hours a day, like whenever I wasn't doing something. Like I like 
that was such a big opportunity, like consumption wise. Um, but Danny and I low key did stream a lot. It was just on Instagram, so it, it, like, like we honestly did stream a lot. Like right we, at the we, we did Zoom calls too, but those weren't like live. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Yeah, when it's outbound. Just good. Justin, like we were talking about earlier, just hit record. Just press record. Yeah. And to get you started, reels are just such an easily and and like fun to make fun. too. You're definitely fun to make. Yeah, a lot of times you don't even have to say anything. You just lip sync to whatever the audio is and just put an Amazon spin or whatever content space you're in. Just put that spin on it, and then you're you're golden. Your reels have been really good lately, Garrett. I will. Say. I haven't done enough. I've been I've been busy. I've only been I've only probably posted one or two in the past couple of weeks. All right, Miles. I posted that in uh, hashtag success in the free Discord link in description. You think you have a shot at doing like instead of Lambo life, like trucker life? <laughs> no, but it's you, that could be the new like. No, you, you buy it's one Lambo truck. Situation. You buy one truck. You finance a Lambo, film ads with the Lambo to sell the course about the truck, which buys more trucks. The simple math equation: if A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. Danny knows that reference. Simple math. Yeah. Danny automation is his key. <laughs> Danny, Danny's profile picture did in fact inspire the name of the. Of, uh, I'm dead. I'm dead ass. It did. Damn, we got hella members today. Warner had a YouTube video. I think that's doing really well. So that brought in a ton of ton of new members today. But I've been really slacking with the uh, Twitter content, and Twitter should theoretically be a big source of traffic. So I got to get better with that. How do you like grow on Twitter? Is there like hashtags that you like oh, add? There's an awesome. There's the same way. Uh, like same way. Yeah. Like we the Twitter algorithm. Like more your content gets seen by your follower base because it's horizontal. Like it's uh, it's like just like you and if someone retweets something, their followers see it. So it just yeah, it's a lot more engagement based on Instagram. I think. Uh, Miles got to plug the like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. Yeah, man, like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment. My first video, dude, yeah, exactly. Best starter business cards. Uh, if you have really good credit, um, Chase, all the Chase um, links are really good. Uh, if you don't have, like, amazing, I'd probably go with the Amex Blue Business Plus. Mm. Um, well, I bought my first truck in for, for three payments of four ninety seven, you can get the ultimate blueprint that brought Danny from being a broke a uh, homeless person living on the streets uh, now uh, owning this Lamborghini. Water, watermelon, it depends. A lot, it's a lot of time. Um, it could be anywhere from like 10K if you're renting to like 80 or 90 if you're buying all in. Damn, that water's hitting tonight. I was on a long unicycle ride, so that water's really hitting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, what are you doing with your uh, trucking business? Are you like running freight for people or like? Yeah, so I'm, I'm just doing general freight. So I like, like right now I'm just doing Amazon loads actually. So it's called Amazon Relay. So they have a, it's called a load board and they also give out contracts. And I'm pretty much just pulling Amazon trailers from warehouse to warehouse. That's cool. Yeah, you should definitely make YouTube stuff on that because that sounds like such an interesting business model. Yeah, it, it, it is interesting. It's um, I, Yeah, you're right. I don't really see that much content on it online. And when I do, it's not that high quality. And, and considering the shit show I've seen from Freight in the past, it'll be interesting to see it from the person's yeah. side that's actually taking care of it. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny. Greg, you got a BlockFi card? How long were you on the wait list for? That's cool, man. That's cool, yeah. Didn't some states ban it? Really? Or am I? Is that something else? I thought I saw like an ad for it at the Miami airport. Like on like a giant oh. banner. Oh, yeah. I guarantee you did. Yeah, all the sure all the crypto maxis are posting that on their story every time they're in the airport. Yeah, no, New, New Jersey banned BlockFi. Wow. 
Yeah, and I think Jersey, Texas, a few other places did. So you just, like, can't even use it there? Or? I don't know. Like, the company as a whole isn't supposed to be operating to, like, Jersey citizens right now, and I think Texas as well. Huh. For, like, some crypto stuff, oh, I mean. Oh, Greg, Greg, yeah, thanks for being the live stream. We were just talking on Discord, actually. Oh, we have someone to add in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, Out of nowhere. What's up? Yes. What's up, Cody? What, you, uh, what, uh, what, what NFT projects have you been gambling your life savings on the past few days? <laughs> oh, oh, my boy. I look like a jerk. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Oh. What is he? See? Um, all right. Well, oh, where the bone it? is. It's a, it's a. Jeez Louise. Oh, it's something. Gary, you got money in the comments here. Yeah, man. Yeah, I've been very distracted tonight. <laughs> yep. Larry, that's the dream. Is Cody muted or can he not? Is his internet on? Yeah, I think his connection was messing up. Yeah. Full house gang, love being here, making Amazon and Mercari sales at the same time. Yeah, yeah. you absolutely love to see. Um, Ali, I don't have time tonight. Um, if you have time tomorrow, we can schedule some time tomorrow. Can you hear me? Am I am I in? Am I yeah, yeah, we hear you now. The Bucky's that. that. I like Love it. it. Man. This place was like a freaking uh, carnival. It was the coolest yeah, place. Bucky's, Bucky's was so fun to check out when I was in Texas. That place is wild. My boy Watermelon has another question for you. <clears throat> um, You see it. Well, the contract specifically you see after like I think six weeks of doing it. But you can't look at the Amazon load board unless you have, um, like, an authorized account. And you have to have, like, a DOT number and, like, active insurance. But if you DM me on Instagram, I could show you some stuff. I know some, like, I had a few people pick up freight from me that were doing, like, a smaller version of that. Box trucks? What? Box trucks? Yeah, yeah. They were, like, they were yeah. getting loads, but then renting, like, their own box truck from, like, U-Haul or something and then going and doing the trip. Yeah, so the, I, I looked into that doing the, the box trucking, but there's not, there's not even, like, close to the same amount of freight available for box trucks and like it's it's just a different like world like box trucks and semi trucks the freight's not even close so it just made more sense to just spend more and just get a semi truck and get a driver yeah for sure a lot more opportunity well you can just carry so much more too yeah that and like no broker is gonna like the only people that are really giving box truck loads are amazon right now and even those they're usually shitty and not a lot of freight brokers want to deal with people with box trucks. Yeah. Yeah, so you're basically, like, once you have the truck, you're basically just paying for your driver and then getting the contract and the difference is your profit. And then you can kind of expand and get more trucks from there. If yeah, exactly. Out. Exactly. Uh, no, Jay, I own the truck and I have driver in it. We need to get a private, late, some more private. I want to learn more about private label. Definitely should get some private label. Yeah, yeah. My, my business partner actually has his first product on the way. Listen, yeah, listen to next month month month. That's, that's, that's a good launching point for private label. Listen what? to who? The smartest Amazon seller. Podcast. Oh, yeah. Mm, love yeah, podcast. Podcast. yeah I, I, hear, I hear a lot of good things about him. Uh, I've been binging all the episodes right now. I've gone from like one through like... <laughs> Ben was why 
me. Yo. What was that? It's not me. It's not Danny. It's not Cody. Ben's muted too. And I low key think it is Ben though, because I feel like when he muted, it got turned off. Um. I don't drive, Aubrey. All right, it's muted, so it's not me. Did Did you have to get your CDL or anything? No, I don't drive. Nice. I drive like I have a driver that does it. Dude, I think it's Ben. I it's- I was muted, and then I I just unmuted myself again. Yeah, I think it is Ben, to be honest. Because Miles just muted me and it, it still happened. I thought it was me because my laptop's on my lap. My laptop isn't even moving. That's why I don't, I don't know. Mine's on a desk. Yeah, same here. I don't know. It seems to be gone now, though. So, happy Thursday, everyone. <laughs> I thought today was Wednesday, to be honest. I can't believe tomorrow's already Friday. Weeks flying by, man. Absolutely yeah. flying. Every week flies by. Sure, we'll know it'll be next summer. <laughs> we'll all be in Miami again. Yeah. All right, we're, about, we're all going to be in Miami ne- this month, actually. Yeah. I'm going. I, y'all, are, y'all are tripping. I'm going down. In like two weeks. I remember you called me earlier. I was like, tonight? Um, yeah, yeah, Danny, Danny. Yeah, Danny, wait. How are you going to park the truck in an apartment building in Miami? What do you mean? I don't... I don't... I know. It's like, bad. I don't, oh. So Labor Day is going to be a, a rough day in terms of revenue. Um, that's to be expected. Any sort of like outdoory day like that is is gonna is gonna be lacking. Ironically, two years ago Labor Day when I was just doing books was my best day ever by far. Yeah, it's also the festive season though. Oh, starting out. oh yeah, that actually makes sense though because it's the Monday. Yeah, everyone's home. Some people everyone's start home. right after or right before Labor Day. School anyway. Um, but yeah, Labor Day is gonna be slow. This it should be a good weekend though. But I mean, when is Labor Day? Monday. Oh, Monday, <laughs> Daddy. What are you? What are you doing Monday? Come through. Uh, I don't know. All right, <laughs> that's a good. That's a good if you're not doing anything, I, I can pull. I'll, I'm about to pull up. Yeah, bring bring Miles with you. All right. Miles might still have me in timeout from Vegas. I think I do. Yeah, I think I do. What, COVID timeout? Yeah. I feel fine. No, it's oh. not. Like, it's not. Right, when, when did you get back from Vegas? Story for another stream. Yeah, no facts. Um, week today, I think. How was that? Oh, my gosh, bro. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, the, the event was awesome. The event was fantastic. Um, in terms of not the event, it was – Tiring, long, and unrelenting. Vegas is a crazy place. That is what I've heard. Vegas. Is that the first time you were there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, big time. Wow. <laughs> a bunch of times. It's an awesome place. It sounds like something crazy happened after the event. Yeah, him and Romer were throwing down. Uh, Wait, what happened? Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> One night I was with Taylor um, in the the casino until like four thirty in the morning, and then, and then I was up at for the conference at like seven to prepare for the next day. Ooh. And I agreed. I was walking around, <laughs> so like on the strip, right? So you pretty you walk everywhere, and everywhere in Vegas, there's these little pop up like daiquiri bars. Which I mean, if you know me, that's like my middle name. And right, so I had I bought a refillable cup. <laughs> oh my god it's, you, you buy it you buy it once and then whenever you walk by a daiquiri bar it's a, a significant discount and they uh, and there's all right. so, yeah so uh what uh amazon questions do you guys have um <laughs> <laughs> miles just with the boot <laughs> cody do you have any plans to make an nft i've thought about it. Sell some crap on the internet that would be cool <laughs> 
Those t-shirts, yeah. yeah those t- you gotta make those t-shirts. No, seriously. Yeah, just just pay someone on Fiber five, five or five dollars to make one, and then post. So I don't know how any of it works. Can you just post a random picture? It costs mu- like you need to it, to be economic to launch. I think you need to be you need to make like ten thousand of them or something. Because you have to pay the Ethereum gas fees or something. Just control C, control P, control P. <laughs> just 10,000 times. Just face it a bunch. I think I did read an article, though, that the CryptoPunks were created with, like, uh, like an algorithm created the CryptoPunks. That is insane that the algorithm created the equivalent of the Mona Lisa for the digital age. <laughs> I think that's all of them that do the 10,000. They're all created with computer algorithms. Oh, no, I know. I know. Oh, oh, in general? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy watching the number. I I think it's Zach Rosas that I follow that posts a lot of it, but all that yeah, has so been smart. crazy. Dan, uh, ben, did you buy any of the Gary V books for the NFT? No, I didn't even know it was coming out. I just, yeah, started, seeing, I did, yeah. I just started seeing people's posts about it, and then I was yeah, like, Amazon oh. It went ham. Cody went pretty ham, too. I bought 60, I think, so I'll get 50 of it. It was cool though, creating the MetaMask and stuff. No. Uh, oh, so the the book was an NFT or? No, oh. no, no. For buying twelve copies of it, you get airdropped. What is this? What uh, people assume is an NFT? Yeah. It makes yeah, sense knows, because, yeah. because right now, like the average person is priced out of E friends. Like I'm for sure priced out of E friends. The floor is ten ETH, which is, I mean, that's thirty five grand around. Yeah. Now. Like that's uh, that's, everyone. That's me. Uh, yeah, like that's, everyone's priced out of it. That's crazy that's compared to what they launched at. Yeah, like half an eighth, I think, or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I was, I was, I was, I was looking at him the night before the launch, and I was like, I should set up a MetaMask. And then I was like, ah, that seems yeah. kind of complicated. And It's not at all. It legit it. takes like 30 seconds. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Miles, put, it's on, on the- put more gaming is coming on the. Shout out more gaming, man. So, that's actually. So, F, like, that's one of the really good ways that I coach people to start is, is with FBM specifically um, because it gives you a, a get-out-of-jail-free card, right? So, assuming you're buying them from retail or even if you're buying them online, right, if you list FBM, it gives you the opportunity to, to test run, right? So, if it goes two, three weeks and it's not being as successful as you would have imagined, then you should simply bring it back to the store, take that knowledge and put that money into something else, right? And you're, you're compounding your, your information gained in terms of reading Keepa, developing your, your skills with that product research, and then you just keep rinsing and repeating, rinsing and repeating, and then soon enough, you won't be making as many mistakes, right? So you use that sort of return caveat as your risk mitigation starting out. So essentially, there is a, a win-win situation every single time you, you purchase something. It's a good way to start. If you can see thing, RA items that are readily available, waiting for someone to purchase on Amazon and then go to the purchase them, that's risky. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> it takes a lot of time. Your time is more, I, so I don't know you, but I would, I, would, I would hope your time is more valuable than that, right? Having to go to the store every time someone purchases a single unit or a couple units, you could be going there multiple times a day for just a, a single thing, right? So... And furthermore, if they're out of stock, then you're shot, right? And Amazon is very is getting even more serious with their with their shipping metrics. Um, so that's not something you want to mess with if you're very serious about this business. Yeah, I never <clears throat> I never sell early any of my products. I always wait till I have it in my hand. I think also you want to. I just turned away and like I bought a bunch of stuff and I was like, oh, it's because I ordered to my house because I was away last weekend. And I was just like, oh, I should just post it. And like two of the things were busted. Like you want to make sure like you got what you ordered before you start listing it. Um, so shipping fee. So always, 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 always offer free shipping on everything and for FBM, right? That's going to give you that psychological advantage over someone that doesn't, right? So that's, that's, meth- that's um, uh, to do number one, I guess you could say. So free shipping. And then account for it. Don't and account for it in your price, right? So know and have an idea in terms of what it's going to cost to ship. The range, go with the worst case, and then build your prices based off of that. So, for example, anything less than a pound is going to go first class, right? So you know in your mind that it's not going to go over six dollars, 
anything or a couple pounds is not going to go over 12, right? That's going to be your worst case, depending on which zone it is. So build that 12 hours into then your profit, into your, your cost, right? So you're offering free shipping, but then you're also accounting for in the price to save your, your, uh, your rear end on, in terms of obviously not selling something you can't profitably ship, but just have an, have an idea in terms of what things cost before you start really getting into it. Yeah, I can't imagine how people drop ship. So, I mean, there are softwares and services that allow you to drop ship on Amazon, and then as well as there's suppliers that do drop shipping for you. Um, but it needs to be done right. Like, you can't drop ship from a retail store because it has to be branded. And on Amazon, you can't. Oh, his name is weird. John's name, John might, it might be him. It's not um, right, We'll see. I'll, I'll be no, off. No Wait. one's moving. But the, the reason why, yeah, the reason why drop shipping is, is, is not allowed in terms of service on Amazon is because of the branding, right? You can't buy something from Walmart and ship it right to the customer because it's going to be branded with Walmart. So the, the companies that do offer drop shipping have plain boxes, plain packaging, plain everything, and they ship right to the customer. That's the only way you can do it. It's expensive too. Having a distributor drop ship for you is expensive. Yeah, I've never I've never worked with someone that's um that uh that works with drop shipping. Yeah. My boy Garrett posted up right there. That's facts, man. That makes sense. Yes. I have a basin full of water, my man. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. I'm in my basement right now, actually. Yeah, my garage. Just bought this. <laughs> Just bought this JPEG of a lion. About to sell it for fifty thousand Ethereum. <laughs> what are those? The lazy lions? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking about. Lazy lions. Yeah, man. That's my favorite one. Should I, should I get one? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, I need the financial advice. Should I get one or not? I have no idea what I'm talking about. I can't give you. <laughs> Eric got to outsource the base. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna get one. If you get one, get a get go in the Discord and see which channels they're bragging about. The zombie, the Halo, the um, like the ones that people have clout for having, and buy one of those. So that that those those are the ones that have higher rarity. I saw this dude. This was this thread on Twitter. This dude was like, it was a screenshot. It was probably like a month and a half ago. It was like I. It was a punk. I can't believe this idiot paid 5K for this. And the guy tweeted it. Uh, or no, I think it was like 20K. And the guy tweeted like, yeah, uh, this was like a month ago. I just sold it for 120K. <laughs> like, like Whoa. It. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man. Seriously, though, because like it's, you know, it's like random, you know, people, you know, in the same way, you know, we're like, you know, random people doing our thing. on the, It's other random people, you know, doing their thing on the Internet. You know, mm -hmm. Get into a bag. You love to see it. Zach, what's up? Zach, how's the conference, man? Hey. So going back to the whole Vegas thing, uh, apart from the Vegas thing, if you ever have a conference that's local to you, 1,000% go. That's mm -hmm. going to be your best conversion okay. rate anytime you're talking with the supplier. When you're when you're face-to-face, -face, first of all, it's hard to say no, right? Because then it just creates an awkward situation. That's yeah. That. yeah, that's – yeah. Did, where did you go up to people and they just immediately curve you? But so, so once we got a hard no in the beginning, but then 15 minutes later, we got an exclusive uh, product list that they wouldn't give anyone else. What was the objection? Or like, it, they weren't open to any more Amazon. It was legitimately the cliche, oh, we're not looking for any more Amazon sellers. And then 10 minutes later, after we didn't walk right. away. Uh, Warner, checking in, Warner, checking in from, uh, Warner checking in from Chinese class right now. We got the whole crew in the car. Yeah, the, the conference looks awesome that Zach's at. He, Patrick got what a ton of He's at the vault. Oh, that's this weekend. Yeah, that looks yeah. really cool. Yeah, he ended up flying down there last minute. Wait, is this the one in Atlanta? No, in Miami. It's in Miami, yeah. Oh, I should have went. Actually, where I used to work, we actually had, we threw a conference, and he was one of the speakers. 
Really? That's neat. yeah. That's how I learned a lot about him. A, Har- a Harrisburg-based company, or or were you, did you just happen? No, to- we did a uh, we did an uh, we did it in Texas the conference. Oh, okay. So we one in okay. Illinois, but yeah. He was, was it originally based in Texas, and now I think he's in Miami. Patrick. Around there. Yeah. Yeah. He he moved to Boca, Boca uh, Raton. Yeah. Did you see that? Like. I don't know if you saw it, but like they did like a total video about like the compound he bought. It's like twenty two million dollars. It's where he lives now. Damn. Damn. You know, my grandma lives in Boca Raton. It's such a nice area. Yeah, Richie it's hustles really, us too. Very nice area. All over the place there. I think, uh, Richie, I think Richie's still in here. Hopefully. Got double card game in the building. Is that a conference cost two grand? How many of y'all got swing pool houses right now? I had like kitty pool one inch, two inch last night, but we got more. I'm in an apart- I'm in an apartment. I do not have a swimming pool. Me either. Oh, okay. You paid for hotel rooms? Uh oh. Here we go. <laughs> that's dis- that's despicable. <laughs> but Maz, remember that night we were here in Delaware and we were trying to find a hotel room but Biden was in town? Yeah, it was still and we had to sleep in the Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> Danny abandoned us. I drove home. <laughs> dude, I will never forget. This dude, Miles, wakes up at like two thirty. <laughs> this dude wakes up in the middle of the oh, night. Oh yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, this is crazy. He wakes up. He wakes me up. He's like, "Bro, there's a campfire on the screen," <laughs> and so we had it in like camp mode, so it, it radiates the thermometer. Uh, Elon Elon Musk himself and, like controls the thermometer, the temperature throughout the night, right? So it's called camp mode. And this dude wakes up at like two thirty. Wakes me up. He says, "Look, look, 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 look." Yeah, the <laughs> fire was cra- It was crackling. It was crackling. <laughs> it was. I know. I. I. I Miles, I, you thought it was a real fire. Uh, I was on the screen now, Bozo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Teslas seem like they're very good for sleeping in and just everything in general. Dude, they make beds for the back, like so it fills like, in the, the foot wells. Like, yeah, for anything. Yeah, that water was hitting. I gotta go refill it. This dude just got a plastic bottle. All right, P. I miss it. I want her back. Yeah, what do they have you driving right now? So I was supposed to pick up a Dodge Charger yesterday. Hey. But <laughs> the, the hurricane. You gotta ask if they have any semi trucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the hurricane prohibited anyone from returning their vehicles, and it was supposed to be coming back yesterday. So they didn't bring it back. We couldn't bring it back. Wait, are you you have a car now or no? I have a rental. Yeah, it's a okay. uh, I don't even know what it is. Nissan something. I don't know. Not a Tesla. Wait, what's up with the Tesla? I got yeah. barreled into by a truck sitting at a red light. Oh shit! Somehow, yeah. like, well, I was thinking about it, though. It really was Danny's fault. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Wait, was it a semi truck? No, it was an old beater oh. of a truck. Well, wow, Garrett probably wouldn't be here if it was a semi truck. Yeah, it definitely not. Yeah, if it was loaded, probably not. Yeah, and it was. It didn't feel good. My man Cody came up clutch. You should have still heard him. I conferenced him in with uh, my adjuster. He was like fierce. It was awesome. It was <laughs> that is, that is very good banter. Yeah, Cody, you were letting him hear. You're making sure my boy Gary. <laughs> It was funny. So we had we had it planned, right? And so I called Cody, and then I called her, and then she didn't answer. And then she called me right back, and I was like, "Can you um? I have to call my 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 brother. Can you hold one second? And she was like, "Fine." And then I called Cody. I was like, "Cody, <laughs> game on, game on, Cody, game on." <laughs> and then I confused them two together, and then and then Cody took the chains from there. I missed that part. I, that's my background. I was in insurance before, and yeah. uh, oh, okay. oh okay. Oh, yeah, I probably should have led with that part of the story. <laughs> so it's totaled? 
No, I don't know yet. It's still it, it's in the body shop. They in looking at it. Um, it's not in good condition. Yeah, that sucks. You gonna get another one if it's totaled? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it because it would take so long, and I have to. I would have a rental for like four months. And they're not gonna give me. They're not gonna straight buy me a, a new car. They're gonna give. I mean, Cody, you could probably confirm this. The like the depreciated value, right? Yeah, so then I, would, I would be out X amount of thousands of dollars, and then four months with a rental. So it would be an expensive decision. Yeah, just get a Prius. Definitely don't get a Prius. <laughs> <laughs> But we're hoping it's not. Yeah, I gotta get my car the corner fixed, but it's not too damaged. Or just keep the insurance money <laughs> and deal with it. So, uh, not a lot going on around here, lady. It's just seems behind this door. Good night, Deneen. <laughs> Shout out FBA woman. Good night to me. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out FBA woman. Shout out FBA woman. Oh, yeah. FBA dot woman. Who's on Discord? I think it was Ben. Ben, weren't you on Discord? What? Yeah, I think so. Nighty night. Feel it. Oh, gosh. So, have you guys really been selling on Amazon without insurance? Like, is that like a thing? I haven't. I mean, like, all of us kind of got it back in March. That's we are, we're, we're, I mean, like we're, we're gonna have like there's gonna be there's gonna be some horror story of like people are selling like kids crap and chemicals and like all kind of stuff like. I don't know. Nobody has to actually sue you. Like, like they can just, like, I don't know. You can get held up if you don't have insurance. Yeah, I, I, so business insurance, and then yeah, like through through Ashley, yeah. Yeah. I, that's, why, that's why I'm, I'm honestly am low key sus about selling stuff that like people eat. You know, I like, I like my space and like the shoe and apparel. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. No one can complain about that. Like, yeah. Wouldn't that fall on the manufacturer though? Still, it's, it's still trouble I don't want in my life. You know what I mean? Not necessarily. It could totally fall on you. Like anything, like even shoes, like any, anything. Like, yeah, we do live in kind of a crazy world. You just never know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm insuranced up, so I, I'm happy to pay 40 bucks a month. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah easy. I already had the insurance. I just had to add Amazon onto there. Yes, I did too. Yeah. I had liability insurance from the warehouse. Yeah, same. And like workers comp or whatever too. Oh, oh point six ETH. They were point five something when we started the stream. Oh, now what point are they? Uh, they haven't revealed it yet, so it's it's gonna be like a like a mob, like family something. What is that? Know. How much did you just make from that? Um, I haven't made anything from it yet, so I bought it for like point five six or something like that. So after gas, I still haven't made a profit yet. It, it, they, they, uh, what was that it, after what? After gas, like yeah, there's gas fees on Ethereum. You want to you want to understand? It's like real crypto people talk here, and it's fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, all of us. Are this. All of when us did, have no idea what we're talking about. Yeah, when wow. do they reveal what the photo is or what the like? September fifth. So my the other ones that have done this, they rise. In. That's not me. Ooh, Ben's name is cleared. Ben's name is cleared. I think. Anyways, I think I think it'll rise in price until the reveal. So I'm gonna try to sell it on like the morning of September fourth. Um, that's that's my that's my plan. How have the other ones done when it when they got revealed? They usually build up the the floor rises until you uh, until they actually reveal. Oh, and then, 
and then people um, like pick the ones they want. So the floor drops, you know, pretty, pretty fast after the reveal. And then, then it starts going back up. Um, Dude, but, the differentiation of price. No. Cody, do you pay the gas fees on both the buying and the selling side? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure on that. Um, I think I think so, but I never have see sold, the. Gas. Have you sold anything at all yet? Yeah, I've sold a bunch. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I, I don't I don't know though. Um, I, I don't see you see the gas fees on the front, but you don't see it on it on the back. But it, it it's probably there. Well, I'll fast Miles. Is, Miles is a big uh, crypto influencer now. Where does the <laughs> where does the differentiation of price come from? Is it just based on like the per yeah the man quality? yeah people it's, been on- it's a woozy it's a wazzy. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know? Yeah, I don't know. I'm with I'm with uh, my man Richie Hustles on all this. I saw his thing on that. I, I don't know. I disagree fundamentally. I I, th- I think there's something to it. <laughs> I disagree fundamentally. Right. <laughs> I, it's, it's art. The values in the was it values in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. There's yeah. a shortage. There's there there are only ten thousand lazy lions. Any and they're all unique. Lions, go ahead. They're all unique. Yeah, they but so if, I, if say say I own say I own a lazy lion, how does that? What does that do for me and my life quality? You like, check like, your bank account and it shows okay. one comma zero 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 comma zero zero zero. <laughs> I mean, what does owning a stock do for your life quality? I mean, I guess a good point. Honestly, yeah. I mean, what does owning a house? What does owning a semi truck do? What does owning a scat pack Dodge Charger do? Happiness. <laughs> vastly different things we're talking about we're talking about either what is having about, a warehouse do what is having an amazon account do again vastly different <laughs> what is me better. eating popcorn in 20 minutes after the show different if there's utility though garrett if there's yeah. like if there's utility like uh with the gary v tickets like or the gary v the v friends yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, like <laughs> conference for three years or something like that that's you know that's amazing. That's crazy. It's brilliant. I just, and that's I why just, I definitely think someone's gonna have to like he's get something like I think the book things are gonna end up being um tickets to the conference or something. Cause you I, like the average like the average person was priced out months ago on V Friends, you know what I mean? No way it's V Friends. There's no I hope it is, because I I bought it like a crap ton, but really it's, it's a collaboration or it's some some a, a second collection. No way to be friends, I don't think. Oh, so that that's actually that's a good conversation point. Larry's Larry's comment. I mean, if you worked, you've probably had a job. Why didn't you start doing the same yeah, thing? Yeah, so I forget who. Someone has some really good banter on this. But essentially it was Amazon Lit in Miami. Had some good stuff on that. No, you know what? It's from it's from the whole state, not the whole state made, made easy podcast with um Jenna Jackson. Oh, I was just listening to that today. Um, yeah, that she had a good episode. Essentially, the the her point of view, and, and this is I'm just mimicking her what, what she said is, in this world, right? We have different groups of people. We have employees who are her good doers. We have business owners who take on the risk, right? They are willing to take on the risk and, and they're the, your decision makers. And then she had a third one. I forget what the third the one was. Unemployed. <laughs> it wasn't it, but I think, but yeah, right. Like it's, it's not as easy as it seems, but like and it, there's a lot to it, right? You have the risk, you have, obviously, there's a lot that goes into it and it's not something that you can just go and start in one day and, and, and just take off with it. Yeah, I would say to that too, like, it definitely depends on where you are, like having a warehouse, like someone would need a lot of capital to like kind of replicate where probably any of us are right now. But I mean, you think about your learning curve to get there, like not a lot of people want to do that and like go through the mistakes and lose the money and all that good and stuff. It, and that first four year comment, is it worth having employees? No one in this chat right now would be at where they are without employees, right? You can only get so far by yourself, right? Cody has a team behind him. Danny has a team behind him. Ben has a team. Everyone has. A, everyone in this chat has a team that has helped us get to where we're at, right? There's only so many hours in the day. Our, our, our brain only has so much energy. We can only focus for so long. There's a, skip, there's a finite thing, amount of things we could do each day, each week, each month, right? So depending on what your goal is for your business, that kind of determines whether you should have employees, should you outsource, 
Like if it's just a part-time thing, then I wouldn't say you need employees. But if you're looking to make yeah. this a full-time thing, if you're looking to make some serious cash, then um, right, then you have to start to take it more serious. And if you're taking it more serious, you can only get so far with by yourself. Yeah, and also in terms of like legality, have them sign uh, NDAs and non-compete agreements for your inventory. Yeah, Richie's just going on about the NFTs. <laughs> going on him hard in the chat. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Richie, like, I'm Richie. with you, dog. I'm with I was you, dog. thinking. I was thinking another argument for NFTs could be like, what if the Louvre in France wanted to like raise money so they sold Oh, yeah, Jerry talks about that. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, so they sold 50% of the Mona Lisa to like 10 people. You should NFT your truck. <laughs> you should NFT your life, Miles. Dude, I'm saying, your life, we should we should create one. We should create one that says "Go sell some crap on the internet." We have okay. the audience. Why don't we? I'm not create an artist. A picture of this chat. Of I can I can hire someone in, in Philippines tonight to make us a picture. <laughs> what, do you, what do you need? 10k startup? We could each put five in. Or not? That, that was terrible math. <laughs> <laughs> The way they make money is like you could just yeah, give have the you ever read profit free. first. <laughs> Bro, Budgie penguins are sixty four thousand dollars. How do we make this happen? How if I get a, if I have a picture made of go sell some crap on the internet with Katie Cody's face right smack dab in the middle? How do we make that an NFT? I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> you could literally give it away, and each sale you make. Five or ten percent on, or something. So oh, like, the royalty. Gary talks about that too. Yeah, <laughs> that that blows my mind. Because think about it. it. Like I bought. I have a friend who's an artist, and I bought his painting for like three hundred bucks or something. But if I sell it for whatever reason, he doesn't get any of that. With NFTs, the original person gets a percentage of every time Gary V sells a thirty-five thousand dollar NFT, which is a lot. Whoa, gets, whoa, whoa! Ten e, ten e, ten e. We don't talk fiat. Okay, that's all cool. How do I how do I get a, how do I make an NFT with I, dude, I don't know we're all clueless about all this stuff in like YouTube YouTube, you know, YouTube University you could probably do it in an hour let's do it you could definitely have it done in like an hour I mean there's six people in this chat we're all Amazon business owners what one one point eight k we get ten k startup like you said game on hey what if, I'm down what if we pick like we pick like a oh, hundred Instagram we have the people Amazon audience what's up. Pick a hundred Instagram resellers and then give them all like an earring and like uh, zebra skin and uh, yeah, and give Danny, yeah, give Danny like grills. <laughs> wait, yeah, wait, we, we could. You could do a hundred, and then ten different variations of each person. Done. Miles, make, make a group chat of us six right now. This is going down. No, no. Are you in? Okay. I want. I want ten percent of the project. And we split evenly. But he, he will not provide. You will not provide startup capital nor distribution. I would fund it. I'd fund part of it if it I was would like fund it. <laughs> Let Let's so learn about it for another year. Let's do it in a year. Let, let's keep learning. Yeah, right. I'm gone in a year. I'm thinking like Friday. <laughs> yeah, let's get Romer in on it and have him uh, give a ticket. If you own one, you get a ticket to his thing or something. My the next Did you hold Miami. it. If you hold yeah. it until next, uh, Jason, that's a good point. Hey, that's not if you hold it. Well, utility, yeah. or or they get a they get access to uh, the launch pad then, or you know, one of our project Discord projects. Justin, Miles, I think it's you, dog. Every yeah. time you move, it happens. <laughs> That's what Miles was doing in Miami when we went out. <laughs> that was that <laughs> thing. Wait, pull up the video. Pull up the video. Jeez, no, my, my phone is dead. Besides me, I can't. I, my Why does not. everyone have a beige background? That's a good question. Yeah, I was just noticing that. Yeah, we are all in the same house actually. It's capitalism. <laughs> these are actually. I'm sure every one of these beige colors is like a different shade of. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Oh yeah, and then we make a second NFT after the one that all go, go sell some crap on the internet with just Richie's face, right? That's it, just Richie's face, and it's, <laughs> like that's it. That's number two. 
Hey, Rich, you'll get a you'll get a royalty. Don't worry. Dude, I I need to know how this happens. Someone, someone in this comment, or someone in this chat, look up how to uh, how to create an NFT and let us know. Uh, I think everything we're talking about in the NFT world will be nothing in like five years. So, no, I agree. Do it now. I, 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 all, all of them are cash grab. It's how much cash can you make in like months, like that. Like, that's definitely Miles. <laughs> hey, but Miles hears it, I think. I hear Who it. Who doesn't hear it? Who doesn't hear it? I don't hear it. Hear it. Oh! Oh! You think you think it's 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 like, really? I owe it. Yeah, every time it just like goes up. It's whoever doesn't hear it. John, where's your laptop right now? It's on my desk. You have like paper near you? Nothing. Uh huh. Bro, if this NFT thing is short term, we gotta make our Amazon seller NFT ASAP. Bro, like it needs to be made two days ago. No, I have nothing in six. Oh, you think the Fed's gonna show? It's on the blockchain. Yeah. Bro, I can have someone in the Philippines make it like in two minutes. What was the what was the coin the federal government shut down? Um, Ripple, right? Yeah, because it was a because it was a, a com they somehow made it seem like it was a commodity. So it had to be regulated. Mm. And they got rid of that chick quick. Yeah. It was like a, was like a week. About that. It was like a month, actually. Mm. How to create, buy, and sell NFTs. <laughs> Love this guy. Y'all see me make some shirts that are just like, just press record for like content stuff. How to create your own NFT in five simple steps? Heck yeah. Sign us up. <laughs> Jared, have your VA learn how to create an NFT. <laughs> My squad is <laughs> Oh, it's John. It's John. Got him. It's John. It's John. It's John. <laughs> Got him. Yep. Boom. Yep. It's John. Yeah. <laughs> you beat that? It was going and I, I muted him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it could possibly be. Well, I think Danny solved the mystery a, a bit ago with um, him, the only one not being able to hear it. Back to the discussion, how to create an NFT in five simple steps. What's step one? Domos.com. That sounds reliable. Richie, what uh, what cryptos are you in right now? All right, let's stop. Uh, Debra, like the worst thing that I want to come out of this is people like, you know, like thinking, you know, having any of their decisions influenced by us on that kind of stuff. Let's talk Amazon stuff. There's no questions coming in. What do you want us to do? All right, all right, all right. What do you think the timeline is from now until Amazon accepting uh, crypto payments? <laughs> Ooh, that, now that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, probably a while, if ever. Yeah. Like, I think someone actually asked someone from Amazon that, and they said they had, like, no <laughs> idea. Yeah, I actually was talking to Jeff Bezos. Like, he said he'd check his calendar to see when he can uh, come on the stream, actually. No, I, I don't think, think, think it'll ever be very that. sudden. I, th I think, I think there will be, like, three days where four or five major companies start, start to accept it, and then there will be, like, 100 companies that follow. That's Would you think. be able to sell NFTs on Amazon? Or does that go through the blockchain? <laughs> It's really a blockchain. It would be. I don't. I don't think you could. But even if you did, it'd be like a one-off. Like, like. Um. So yeah. F FBA the NFT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Greg. There's been a user a rumor about them doing it for like two years. There was one in 2018. I thought it was gonna happen. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna pull over to it. What 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 does it help like the website like? What does it do for them by adding crypto? It would, I think it'd make it more complicated with taxes, Probably. like them collecting sales tax. I would. I don't think they would ever. Yeah, do it. Gary V was talking about that. Like, cause I think V Friends was like fifty million or something crazy. But who knows? Like, but um, he was oh. talking about how he has no idea what what's gonna work for that. Um, yeah. So Q four next month. We all ready to roll, Cody? Buddy, what's the vibe coming on Q4, you think? Buy, buy, buy. Buy more inventory. How, like, really, how much does volume pick up? Because this is really my first one, pretty much. Like, Yeah, me too. I haven't really, I haven't been buying, like, not books in a Q4. 
Yeah. I'm just going to pick that. They were yeah. 40 and 50%. Pe- people like Garrett that have like tons and tons of categories and SKUs, like, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I don't have any experience with that. What, what I've done well with in the past is I find like 12 or something that are, that are you know, um, that I can put on repeat. And then it's just a game of how many, you know, uh, how many to find. But I, you know, I'm doing RA, so you know, like ours is trying to find something for 50 and sell it for 150 because of some, you know, because it's the crazy third party market. So, I I was looking back in my account today from my last uh, Q4, and I just noticed it was like right around Thanksgiving to like a few days before Christmas. It, w- it was just insane. That was when I noticed the biggest. Uh, Increase in sales, and I think I was selling mostly books then. I mean, all that's great and everything, but I just figured out how to make and sell an NFT. So, who's that? Who's who's in? Your I mean, just expanding uh, out of your body. If, if nothing else, just for content. That that sounds like great content. Uh, what's the best way to reprice my books? Uh, if you're doing big, big volume, like I'd say multi five figures a month. Um, use reprice it, and I'd say if you're doing like a few thousand bucks a month, you reprice it. If you're just doing books, Agreed. yeah. Uh, eBay was wow, hundred percent increase. Um, uh, my business models OA almost entirely OA. I don't like driving, and I, for whatever reason, haven't started wholesale yet, if ever. Yep, yep, yep. Miles doesn't like driving. He also doesn't like being in the car with other people driving. Well, well, just you and Danny are so reckless. <laughs> I'm a firm believer that someone driving scared is more dangerous than someone driving. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. Like, it, it's the bad drivers that cause the issues. Dude, it's the miles 100%. of the world that drive 40 in a 60-mile-an-hour lane that cause the accidents. How many times have you gotten tickets before? How many times have you gotten pulled over? Zero tickets pulled over four times. All right. I'm zero I'm, tickets I'm, though. I'm zero zero zeros across the board. <laughs> yeah, but the net of it is we're in we're cost of doing business. It's quite, like if I could get somewhere ten percent faster, it's cost <laughs> doing business. Like think about it. <laughs> one, one ticket a year to arrive everywhere like 10, 15 percent quicker. <laughs> think about Your that. Experience only goes up by <laughs> No, well, I I don't know about you guys. I'm in New Jersey, so it's extremely corrupt. So you just go to court, plead it down, and pay a fine, no points. But then that that or the Miles, we're at the same playing field. We both have zero tickets, so there's that. Anyways, moving on. You boys, check the check the private chat. You're welcome. Yeah, I know it's. I check. Wait, what's going on in here? The start of something new. It feels so right. Did you say your middle name is Daiquiri earlier? Can I can I quote you on that? Yeah, we're, we're gonna put that on an NFT. We're on a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, on a, he's holding a, a coconut daiquiri. Bro, Pinky's out. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All I'm saying is it doesn't seem complicated. Yeah, those, daiquiris have, get, those daiquiris get expensive. We have the audience. That's all I'm saying. Gary, yeah, those daiquiris get expensive? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, where the, uh, huh? <laughs> it's reading. Yeah, I'm, I, well, yeah. <laughs> how, many, how many viewers are uh, in here right now? Uh, 27, and we thank Howard. That's crazy. There's 27 people just listening to us shoot the crap. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get on YouTube. I, I, like, I consume a lot of this type of long form from other from other creators, definitely. How many people were at uh, the Miami conference in that room? Probably like 50, 40. I was really impressed by the turnout, to be honest. Not just in, like, the quality of, you know, like, guys we get to meet and everything, but in, like, the quantity, too. Yeah, yeah. I expected yeah, yeah. more too. That was like the first time I'd been to a conference, like because everything was canceled with COVID. So it was it was so awesome to like kind of be around everyone that I'd been talking to for like a year. 
Yeah, that was crazy. I always wanted to go to the turn the page events, but like right as I was getting more into books, they all got canceled because of COVID. Either way, though, if they did like DC, I think I'd pull up probably. Cody, yeah, they did like DC. They had they had like eight of them planned, uh, like yeah. going into March. Yeah, DC was supposed to be September last year, I think. And Danny and I, I remember us talking about going. Uh, going through, yeah, Seth, that's what I like about this type of stuff is, you know, you can passively consume it. You, know, you don't have to watch it. You know, you can like chill and just listen and stuff. Um, and I'm actually surprised, I think, by the amount of people who re-listen to it. Um, well, I mean, to our defense, all, most of the time we are answering questions. It's yeah, just no, when there's not there's, there's, it's just when there's not a lot of engagement that we just kind of start kicking. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, and we just we <laughs> sometimes. Well, that's that's like a market is creating, uh, like videos or TV shows or songs that could just be played in the background, like the show um, Ridiculousness on MTV. Oh, we I've heard about that. Yeah, apparently the whole like concept of that show is that it could just be pay be played in like the background of something and you could just glance over and never be feel like it's you're like, left behind because there's, like there's always something new coming on the screen that's so true yeah so that that's apparently the whole like concept behind it and that's why it's like still on and successful oh i know it's still on let's see pretty sure it is wait was ben with the yeah that was me richie <laughs> what was it? Chill, chill. We don't need to be talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss something? No, no. I just talked to Richie at the conference. He's making he's making the connection between the between me at the conference and on the screen. Oh, 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 <laughs> that was that was a fun night. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Oh, my friend Garrett had a lot of fun that night. Stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also, don't need to talk about that. Oh my god. Yikes! Is right. <laughs> Anyways. Danny also missed a flight that at the day after, so no, purposefully he didn't miss it. He they missed. Bro, he was it. on yeah. the. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I I walked off that plane. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was just, I, I was just, when you told us that, I was just visualizing like. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what did you do, Danny? <laughs> I was I, I wasn't feeling too good, and I was on the plane. Like I was, I swear, like I was literally sitting down in the seat, and the like. People were still coming in, and I was like, "Dude, I started like sweating, and I was like, I gotta get off this fucking plane." <laughs> he he willingly wow. paid for another plane, so his it was it was a great decision. And then I just hung out in Miami for the night, rode the scooters around. It was great. It was it was, it was, it was worth Bro, it. We were scooting hard. Those things are awesome. the The scooters are are awesome. What was the speed limits on those in Miami? There were like two different zones. Yeah, uh, it was brickle, brickle, and then, and, like, Yeah, it was between like ten and seventeen, which is still fine. Like Whoa. ten was fine. I was, doing that. I was toasting Danny and mine. Yeah, when we were there, some woman died on a uh, Miami beach. I was just thinking why he did on a scooter <laughs> on the. Um, no, it was one of those like the the bigger scooters that you like sit on, and you could go like forty. Oh, I think damn. they're called Rebel. You know, I'll never forget when <laughs> the dude scoots by us. <laughs> you guys know why the scooter's working? I didn't think. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, yeah that <laughs> <was funny. laughs> that oh, wait. Yeah, I still need to charge miles for those scooter rentals I gave him, yeah, actually. Yeah, th yeah, three of them. Yeah, just Venmo me 50 oh, bucks. So, Ben, she checked. So, we were, scoot we were scootering a while, around for a while, and mid-scoot, my phone dies, right? So, so I ditch the scoop. I get on a new one, and we keep going, right? We're like <laughs> blocks, blocks down the way, right? Minutes, late, ten, probably over like fifteen minutes later, and then we'll, we we stop. We, we're kicking it, and all of a sudden, this one dude just starts scooting by us, and he's like, "You guys know why the scooter's working without me having to pay?" <laughs> 
Yeah, that was bad. Like, we weren't even close. So, like, the fact that he he drove by us, felt the need to bring that up as he was driving by us, and obviously that was a scooter that I left un, un, unclosed because I yeah. Couldn't figure out my phone was dead. That's pretty yeah. funny. He should have a physical device. They should, you're right. The ones in DC had, were, were like so slow, the scooters. They were capped at like 10 miles an hour. Really? Yeah. It's no fun. Yeah, the that's how it was in, um, when you were in like the Brickle area, it was capped at like 10. But once you got like across one of like these bridges into the other part of Miami, it was like 18. Damn. The ones it would in- just like start going. As soon as you left like that zone, it would just start speeding up. The ones in Houston did 30. Shout out, Texas. Yep. <laughs> no laws. Although in Austin, they were like 20, I think. But Houston was the fastest for sure. The Austin scooter scene is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. We turned the page yeah, there, me and my girlfriend, and we're like, holy, this is insane. They're a lot of fun, though. But Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought. You can walk or drive. Like, the Uber drivers, like, these people, like, Every Uber we went into, they almost hit like five or ten scooter people. Oh yeah, people are awful on the road in Austin. Like, really for the place. Yeah, like so stupid with the scooters. Like, just no sense at all. Just driving all <laughs> over the road. I almost wiped out once. Yeah, we saw a bunch well, of people wipe out in Houston. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. It, it remember it said not to ride them if you had been consuming. No, that th- daiquiris. <laughs> I can't. Absolutely not. A night. All right, so I think we'll we'll wrap up here. <laughs> Garrett just ruined the chat. Um, Garrett, I can't yeah. it. And I'm trying to create this Amazon ship, and it's pissing me off. It's saying no carriers are currently available. Please wait 15 minutes and try again. But maybe you should uh, put in a super chat. Maybe someone will answer your question. I don't know. I just heard. This. I don't know why I was so convinced that as Maz was saying that, he was going to say, I don't know why I can't create this NFT. I was just so <laughs> convinced in that moment that Maz was mid-creation of an NFT. You know what's up. All right, well, with that being said, man. All right, so anyone that wants to know, tonight, tonight, tonight. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. And seriously, thank you guys. This was a lot of fun tonight. A um, little more informal. Um, but yeah, uh, any questions you guys have, feel free to let us know in the discord, follow these guys on their socials. And, um, in terms of just stream etiquette. So when I end the broadcast, it'll take us to like a breakout room. Just so none of you guys like dip right away. Like Garrett's normally pretty bad about it.